Today we're going to talk about LP fuel and its use on powered industrial trucks. And we want to talk about some of the characteristics of LP fuel. Uh, first off, LP fuel uh, in its vapor state uh, creates a heavier than air substance. So if it leaks out of a tank, it tends to pull up just like water on the ground. So it's important to understand the safe and proper handling of the fuel. Uh, the compression rate of LP vapor uh, going into a tank like this is 270 to 1. So every one gallon of liquid fuel in this tank creates 270 gallons of vapor. So that's an important factor to remember. That means we use eight gallon liquid tanks in the lift truck business. If I were to bring one tank into a room this size and release that vapor, we would have about 2,160 gallons of vapor on the floor. Highly explosive, uh, flammable situation. So we've got to make sure we treat it with respect. Also, storage of LP fuel is extremely important. Uh, because of it leaking and creating the heavier than air vapor. We should always store LP fuel outside of buildings in most applications. Uh, because it's creating the heavier than air vapor, it can pool up on the ground just like water. And if the low point in your floor is over by a water heater and you've got a pilot light, you could create uh, a propane explosion. So it's important to store it properly. If you ever have any questions about how much fuel you can store inside your buildings at your specific location, you can always get with the fire marshal and uh, check on that and make sure, okay? And also handling of LP fuel when we're changing the tanks out, it's important to have the right personal protective equipment. Um, the fuel coming out at our atmospheric pressure is coming out at 44 degrees below zero. So if 44 degrees below zero fuel sprays in your eyes, sprays onto your hands, you can have frostbite burn. So it's important to have wraparound eye protection when you're changing these tanks out and good thick rubber gloves. That will protect your body from that super cold fuel and frostbite burn. So thanks for watching.